I'm Hugh and Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Gundog Estate, Marksman's Shiraz 2019 from the Canberra District. The story of Gundog Estate is only quite a short story. It's been going for about 10 years. It was started in 2011 by the Burton family. Uh, the winemaker is Matt Burton, who's a young man who is a wine science graduate and a business administration graduate, both of those from Charles Sturt University. And he, his photographer father, sorry, his cinematographer father is, is Jeff Burton, who's a well-known movie maker uh, in the cinema business. Um, but Matt, Matt is really the wine guy. And he is based in the Hunter Valley, but he has cellar doors in two regions. He has a cellar door in the Hunter, in McDonald's Road, and he has a cellar door in the Canberra district at Gundaroo. Um, he grows, he, he produces wine from three different regions, the Hunter Valley, the Canberra district, and the Hilltops region, um, buying grapes from those regions and producing regional wines from those regions and doing a very, very good job of it. Matt Burton has uh, recently announced that he is now carbon neutral. So Gundog Estate is carbon neutral. They are very environmentally aware at, at Gundog. They have uh, done all sorts of things uh, in order to reduce their carbon footprint, uh, not just buying carbon credits, but planting trees and doing all sorts of things like uh, reducing their energy requirement in the winery. Um, they're very serious about it and one of the few wineries that I'm aware of that are actually carbon neutral. Um, this wine comes from the Canberra district and comes from, um, I think it's pretty much all or mostly from the Murrumbateman district, from um, two vineyards that I'm aware of in the Murrumbateman district which are outstanding vineyards which produce great Shiraz, spicy wines, elegant wines, not blockbuster Shirazes at all. So, what does this wine taste like? It's a three-year-old, nearly three-year-old Shiraz from the Canberra district. Um, this region, of course, um, is famous for Shirazes which are very drinkable when they're young. They're not heavy wines or tannic wines or high alcohol wines. They're wines of elegance and subtlety. So, not surprised that this wine drinks very well now. Good depth of colour, really, really good depth of colour. Nice, fresh purple tinge to it. And the nose is very spicy. It's got nutmeg and pepper and herbs, dried herbs. Uh, the oak is subtle. There are red fruit flavours rather than black. Beautiful wine. Um, really quite a distinctive character. I think that wine speaks of the Canberra district to me. Oh, and the wine is just so delicious to taste. Intense wine, medium to full bodied, not a heavy weight at all. Um, the flavours are this lovely combination of sweet fruit and savoury characters in the same wine. Really, really a smart wine. I mean, it's a wine of real detail. It's not just a straightforward plummy or chocolatey kind of wine. It's got a lot of detail to it, a wine that can fascinate you for several glasses. You'd never get bored with it. And the tannins are very smooth and silky. It's just an elegant, gorgeous wine. Very approachable now, but I'm sure it'll age very well as well. How do we rate this wine? Well, we scored it a gold ribbon score, which is 95 points. Um, and it was rated number five out of 66 Shirazes from that vintage and, uh, and from New South Wales. Uh, so that's across the entire state of New South Wales. It was number five out of 66. 2019 Shirazes that we tasted, which gave it a top rank rating. So yes, that wine is um, a wine that you can enjoy now for sure, but it will last for a long time. I think there's at least 15 years of good drinking ahead of that wine. Um, and it's a $70 wine, so it's a Gundog's flagship wine. Um, they put their heart and soul into that. That's what they hang their hat on. And I think it's an outstanding example of Canberra District Shiraz. We asked the, the winemaker Matt Burton what he would like to recommend uh, people serve when they're drinking this wine in the way of food. And he said, slow cooked lamb shoulder, 
with salsa verde. I think that's a good choice. Slow cooked meat, um, you know, you can just imagine it's really complex flavors and the texture of it, it just falls off the bone and melts in your mouth. Would go beautifully with this wine. Cheers.